Hello, welcome back. Today we're creating a glass in Blender. So press A and delete to delete everything in the scene. Press Shift A, go to Mesh, then Circle. Then you can press on this X. Then we press on Tab to tab into edit mode. Then we just press E and then Z or C to move it up like this. We can also press G and Z to move it up even further after we, we have extruded. Then we're just going to press here on X-Ray so we can see through the mesh. Then we're going to create these loop cuts with Control R. Then the first one I will move down like this and then press left click. And then I will create another one up here. And then if you have the box, selection box here selected, we can drag click. And select all the vertices like this and make sure to have this selected to select all the vertices you can also have this to select the edges then we just need to press s to scale up and i will move this down with gz and i will select this and move it up like this then when your mesh looks something like this then just need to Select the edge down here with Alt left click, Control B to bevel, and then Alt left click up here and bevel this too. Then we press Tab to go into object mode. Then we right click on the object and shade out to smooth. Now we can go back into edit mode and select the edges, and then go down here to Alt and left click. So we select all the edges around this then we press F and then we can press I to inset like this I also noticed if you're seeing some weird shading going on you can go here to face orientation and you will see that everything that is red is facing the wrong direction so what you want to do is you want to select everything if it looks like this and then press Alt and N. And then you want to flip. So now the normals are flipped. So now we can go back here. And I see immediately that the shading is correct. Then we can press I a few more times. We can also move this up with GZ. And we can inset one more time. We can move this down a little bit. And we can go it in like this a little bit more. And now we just have to select the edges again. So press up here. Or you can switch between the numbers on your keyboard. 1, 2 and 3. So we want to press 2. And here we press Alt and left click to select this. And we want to bevel these also as well. And it doesn't really matter how this is looking. As long as you're making some sort of wavy movement down here because it will make the glass look very good and i also like to add some little dot in the middle here too and we can move this up a little bit and then bevel it so now we can see it's a little bit rounded here and now we're going to create an inside for it so we can go to the side view again and we press tab to tab into edit mode then x-ray here too so now we just press a to select everything here then we press shift d and then we press s and now when we scale it down we can press shift so we scale it down very slightly and what we want to do now is we want to match this edge with this edge so we can go up here to this magnet and we can select vertices. Now when we press G and Z and also shift and tab. We can hover over one of the vertices up here. And now those two are the same height. We will also realize now that the bottom here on the inside is further up. Which is what we want to achieve. But we will do one more thing to the inside. We will delete it. So we go out of X-ray mode and then 
we go and select the face in the middle here and then if you have a numpad you can press ctrl and plus on your numpad to select the faces like this and we want to select them up on the side here so we if we press ctrl and plus 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 all the way up here we can just press delete and we want to delete the faces and then we are going to select this edge here again so alt and left click then we can go into the side view x-ray mode what we want to do now is we want to press f so now we created a face between here we can go out of x-ray mode and see we created a face we insert this to like this and we go to side view again and x-ray and then g z and we move it down slightly and here we want to have the glass so the bottom is thicker than the sides so it doesn't really matter how thick it is but once we add the glass shader you will see if it looks bad or wrong but here now once this face is selected we just press ctrl b again and we want to bevel this slightly we will also make different pattern in here but before that i will select the side here and i will bevel this too and then i will select the face it's easier to go out of x-ray mode and we will do something similar here in set move down how much oh it was too much go up a little bit we bevel then we inset again we might move this up a little bit and then bevel again and then we can do this last little bit and we can move it down and also bevel this now we're missing one thing here the edge here is not connected so we will select the edges here and then select one edge like this and then we will press ctrl and left click to select these edges then we will press shift and left click and then shift ctrl left click and now when we have everything like this we can go into this edge bridge edge loops or we press ctrl e and bridge edge loops and now we just have to do this to everything so press this left click ctrl shift ctrl shift left click ctrl e and then do this here too like that and now we have a glass that hopefully will look good so we will go and create a new material this material will obviously be transparent and we are going to move down the roughness I like to have some roughness, you can have it on zero too, it doesn't really matter. But we're not seeing anything, so we will go into the shader viewport and we will go to and change the cycles. And to make it easier for our computers, we can turn off this denoise threshold and put the samples to something like 40. We can also change this to GPU compute. If you cannot see this G GPU compute it's either because you don't have a GPU or your GPU might not be suitable for Blender but if your GPU is suitable for Blender and you cannot find it or it's grayed out go to edit and then preferences and then under preferences you I don't think you can see this now but there is a slot for system and there you can choose between your GPU and uh, CPU so now we want some lights and the quickest way and easiest way is to go to here shader editor and then object go to world and then also if you have node wrangler enabled you can press on this and ctrl t and node wrangler is an add-on it's a free add-on within blender so go to edit preferences add-ons and search for node wrangler 
And here we want to add an HDRI and HDRIs you can find on Polyheaven and also other sites on Google. I think I found my own Polyheaven and with this it looks way way better. If you're looking on Polyheaven and you want to know what uh, HDRI I'm using, this is what my looks like in the 3D viewport. So we're going to add a plane, shift a plane. We will see that our glass is way too big so I will select the glass and press S and I will scale it down. And one thing you may notice right now is that the glass is looking very odd and very weird. And that is because our face orientations are weird again. So now we can see on the inside now the uh, faces are flipped. So we just need to go into edit mode again and select these faces and I will press ctrl plus like this like that and I also see that the edge here is flipped and then alt and flip so now it's blue and now we can unselect this face orientation and now when we go into the render viewport we will see that it looks way better already and in the render viewport if you're having some problem with your computer you can press ctrl and b and then you can drag click and then you can click and then you can drag click over your screen like this and now in cycles it will only render that part and what i can see or and what i'm looking for now is the reflections in here and i'm not really liking what i'm seeing here it looks way too big between the inside here and the bottom here so i will go into edit mode again and also select the x-ray mode and i'm gonna also i will also unselect the plane firstly i will just select everything and then i will move it up slightly hopefully this will make the reflections look better if you want to place your glass on the plane like this you can press up here and face projection and then press on the glass and then G, Z and then shift tab and place your cursor on the plane. And you will see now it goes through this a little bit so we just press G, Z, shift and go up slightly. So now it stands on the plane. But one thing that I forgot to add is this rim here. So, alt glasses have rounded edges, and if it's uh, flat like this, it looks weird. So, we'll go into edit mode again, and when we are in edit mode, we will press Ctrl R to add a loop cut up here, and then I will press G and Z to move it up, and then when we're created like an edge like this, we just press Ctrl B. To bevel it and scroll your mouse wheel to make more cuts so it looks something like this and just bevel it slightly then we can also press ctrl a to set the scale correctly i will also add a loop cut up here to make the reflections look better and i will do it on the inside too so now in the viewport, on the render viewport, the reflections look a little bit better. So now we have created the glass. I also think that you want to know how I made the thumbnail for this video. Hey, it's me from the future. Unfortunately, the last recording uh, got very messed up. So I will try to explain the last things that I couldn't make into that video. So if we go to cycles, we'll see if the sound and video works now. So I won't talk much. So this is how it's going to look. And what we are going to do is we are going to make a plane and another play behind it. And 
you just need to create a plane like this and press S and X to scale it like this. And then if you want to make the plane like this, you just press R and X and then press 90 on your keyboard and then scale that up. I also made the glass a little tinted green and the saturation put that on 0 0.012 that is a good value and then have it blue greenish color and then the plane I made it slightly yellow and I put on a metallic and the roughness I put on very low because I want the reflections in the plane and also the ball I made the roughness very low and have metallic quite high or at this max. On the glass I also added sheen and then when you're going to add the camera I can delete this and press shift A and go down to camera. I can press Control alt and 0 on my numpad and that will make it so the camera goes towards my my view and also when you're in cycles i will not go into cycles now because i don't really know how this recording will be affected by it so uh, in there you can press ctrl b and drag click over your camera and that will make it so that it will only render over the camera and it will make it easier for your computer you can also render a specific part of the camera like this and once you hit render up here and render image it will only render this specific part you can do this same thing in the viewport like this and when you want to unselect it you can just press this so it disappears and in the camera we want to have and the focal length you can set anything from 35 to 70 and it will look great and uh, usually I have the camera faced like this and once you are in here too you can press the camera here or the edge and then you can press G and then X to move it in X axis you can also press X one more time to rotate it or sorry move it in its own X axis therefore you can also press G and Z two times to move backwards and forwards like this and then if you press G Z again you can move it down like this and also on the back wall you could add transmission to it to make the effect a little bit more interesting if you like this video give it a like and if you want to see more of these videos don't forget to subscribe goodbye